Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Fiona and I'm a full-time artist. And on this channel, I like to take you with me on my artistic journey, whether that means working on projects here in my studio, going out to see art exhibits, <laughs> buying art supplies and sharing my haul with you, basically any art related content. So if that sounds like something you're into, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot and I would really appreciate it. Zelda's here saying hi. <laughs> This is my doggie. So you might hear her tip tapping around in the studio. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't bother you too much. All right, so today I wanted to talk about framing artwork. I have a stack of pieces here that I've got from artists over a long period of time that I've been meaning to get framed. And if you're anything like me, you just kind of wait, wait, wait. You buy the art and then you never get it done. So I want to take a look through everything, see if anything needs to go to a professional framer, what can maybe go into some unused frames I have around here, and maybe what I could order frames from some websites online. And um, yeah, hopefully I can share with you a few different ways to either frame your work yourself or get it done. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I want to do is unwrap some of this, take a look at it, and see what the format is. So my husband got me a few Audrey Kawasaki prints for my holidays. Try and do this gently as possible to show you. Here's one of them. So it's sort of a longer thin scroll format. And I definitely don't have any frames that fit this size. So I'm gonna have to measure it. And I'm gonna take a look at frames on FrameBridge and Frame It Easy and see if I can order something from there and then assemble the frame myself. So you can see it's all kind of in that similar, like wider format. Um, let me grab a ruler and see. I can find. So this print is, let's see, it's 22 inches by, so it's 15 wide by 22 long. So I'll see if I can find any frames sort of this size, but I'm guessing maybe not. Beautiful though. So one, two, and then a third one. Love this one. This one's more of a square format. I actually got the opportunity to meet her back, when was that? Like, I wanna say 2009, she had a show um, in New York and I went and I saw her. So this is an 18. by 18. So I'll look up and see if there's anything with that existing. So I actually just went and found this from 2009, her show. She said to Fiona and signed it. And it was the show's postcard. Um, so it's called Hajimari of Prelude and it was December 12th, 2009. So there you go. Now I actually have some of her prints. So moving on to the next, this is a package from an art YouTuber, well, she's an artist, but she's here on YouTube. Um, her name is Lee Alexson. This is like her little card. But anywho, she had um, a few postcards and I wanted to get some of those framed somehow. There we go. So I, I really like this flower postcard. This lion one is actually like a freebie that she's been including. She has a few of the sort of these flower ones I really, really like a lot, um, as well as some landscapes. See, there's another lion one since I bought two packages. So here's a landscape here, another landscape. There's this landscape with a fox, which um, I really like because I got it right after we came back from Scotland and 
when we were um, spreading my father's ashes, a fox ran by. And then when we came home, um, we came home at like 11 o'clock at night or midnight and the car was pulling up and a fox ran by um, in the yard outside my house. I'm not a particularly spiritual person, but there was just a nice connection between seeing a fox where we had left my dad and then a fox when I got back home. So um, something about this speaks to me. And then there's a few of these sort of more collage type ones where she takes sketches from her sketchbook and puts them together, which are neat. Um, I might not frame those. And then here's a few prints. So I thought this raccoon, <laughs> since we do have a raccoon that hangs out in our yard here, I <laughs> Zelda's barking because she knows. Um, it kind of looks like Zelda. She has a little raccoon mask. So I want to get that frame as well as this lovely landscape. And I like this white tiger, but I think I'm actually going to get this to my best friend. She practices Shotokan Karate and a white tiger is a symbol of that. So I want to just get that framed for her as a gift. Um, hopefully she doesn't watch this. I don't think she does, so I should be okay. But anyway, these are all by Lee Ellickson. Sorry if I butchered your last name, um, but I'm going to see how to get some of these framed. So I'm going to put that into my two frame pile. Okay, speaking of artists on YouTube, I got a few small things from Furry Little Peach. I already have work by her um, previously from when I got this package. So this, this is like a sticker set, so I'm not gonna get that frame, but I just thought I would show you guys. That's going into the knot frame. But I got this from her latest Peachtober prompt. I, some of you guys might know Inktober, which is like what a few artists do, but she makes her own list called Peachtober. So I wanna get that framed. And then I also got a zine by her, um, which is like, I think this is a, a Rizzo print, um, but it's 241 out of 250. It's very cute, but obviously won't be framing that. Let me see what other pieces I have by her in my pile here. So there's this large print, which you guys have probably seen. I had it behind my couch in the back of my studio. But now things have kind of been rearranged in here and I do really just love how colorful and joyful this is and I would like to get it properly framed. So this is going into the frame pile. Next, I received a package from Kathy Butcher. Um, so this is like a little card with a thank you handwritten note and this was the print that I wanted. So this is the print. I just like how it reminds me of friendship and that when you haven't seen someone in a while, just that deep hug. Um, I also love the patterning on the clothes and all the line work. I just think it's really beautiful. So I definitely want to get this frame. This is going in the two frame pile. Alongside that, I got sort of like a surprise package where you can go on her website and pick like this thing called surprise and you just get random things. So there is some postcards, a print, um, some bookmarks, bookmarks, stickers, um, and this is like a little, a little zine that was made, which I think is super cute. <laughs> Anyhow, none of these are gonna get framed, but just thought I would share that because I thought it was a neat thing. Also in that surprise package were these two. And I also would like to prominently show these if not get them framed. So this is the going into the desirable print pile. All right. Next, I have a painting by a friend of mine, Gina. Um, it is from 2016. We did a little exchange back then. It's always been on my mood board, but I would like to now get it officially framed. So when I was at the other art fair, 
Um, sometimes I like to collect from the artists around me. And this was one by a photographer that was a booth mate of mine. So, oh, the glare. There we go. Sorry for the reflection on it. Um, but I love the color of this. You guys know I love the color pink. Um, as well as this wasn't photoshopped in any way. Um, this is just a photograph he took out in the wild. Uh, leave a comment below if you can guess what would create that sort of halo effect there. And you see there's a figure in the foreground. So yeah, it's kind of fun. He was having people guess that, that were coming into his booth. So I don't want to give it away. Um, but I will leave the answer in the comments to anybody that comments. <laughs> I would love to get this framed. So the next piece is actually somewhat my own. Um, so I do a collaborative project called Shared Energies, my friend Maria During. I will leave it linked below so you can learn more about it. But essentially, one of us will start drawing or painting, and then we will mail it to the other who will draw or paint. Since I live in America and she lives in Canada, that's how the project started. We would just mail drawings or paintings to each other. And then we would meet in a residency once a year where we would get to work on the project at the same time. And we had been talking about how, you know, we would have these for sale, but we also would like to each keep one out of the collection for ourselves. So we both went through and looked at what we had. And then this was the one that I picked because I feel like it's a pretty good balance of both of us. And um, yeah, I would love to get this piece framed. This is a piece I've had for a very, very, very long time. Uh, it is by my friend Rachel, who passed away. You guys might remember when I went to the sketchbook library, I went there and I found her sketchbook. Um, anyway, this is a piece that she made of me <laughs> dressed up as a pirate with my pet turtle, Jamie, um, from college, because back then I used to do pirate parties <laughs> and everybody would come dressed as a pirate. So, um, yeah, reminder of a fond time. Here it says it's from 2007. It's matted already, but I would love to get a proper frame on it, something to conserve it. I can already see that over time the color started to change it. So this might be one that should go to a proper frame shop so they can get some UV glass on it so it doesn't um, fade anymore. This is a piece by my friend Tim. Uh, he actually just started a YouTube. I'll tag that below as well as where you can find his prints, but he is a fantastic printmaker. I have loved this piece forever and ever. It's hung in many of my homes, but I never got it properly framed. So it is an interesting wide format, very thin. So this one will need some custom framing job, but I'm very excited to finally do that. And going in that vein as well, Here's a piece by my friend Maria Doring that I just fell in love with. I love the color red. I love the texture. It's just so beautiful. It actually goes this way, but you really could hang it whichever way that you would like. Um, there's just something almost Sakura blossom about it. Although I know it's um, like about the inside of the body and how she approaches those feelings about her body. But another one from college. <laughs> or this might have been when she was actually in, um, this might be from when she was doing her master's program. But either way, well over a decade old. <laughs> Sorry, Maria, for calling you out. And I would like to get this framed. Here's a small piece that I got by my friend Charlie. <laughs> just says cut the shit. I, it just made me laugh. I'm not sure whether I will get it framed or not, but I just wanted to share that because it is very, very funny. Here's a piece by a fellow artist from other art fair. His name is Brody. I will tag him below. Um, but he does sort of these collage-esque pieces. This is a print of his. And I just thought it was a really, really powerful piece. This is definitely going into my frame pile. Here's an art print by my friend Akane. So she did a little print sale around the holidays. Let me take this out so you guys can properly see it. 
for its texture and the use of color. I, I seem to have been getting sort of a lot of landscape-esque things. I think something about bringing the outdoors indoors is just very satisfying. <laughs> Anywho, this is going into my would like to frame pot. All right, guys, I went through, narrowed down what I'm thinking of getting framed. Um, also the Kawasaki prints will be a part of this. But this is where I have landed. And I also had Andre come up and give his thoughts on it since some of this will be going downstairs on our gallery wall in our living room. But I think this is a pretty good start. So anyway, this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna measure everything, uh, see if anything needs to be professionally framed. Uh, I wanna see what I can do on FrameBridge as well as Frame It Easy, which are two websites that I've used to frame my own artwork. And I will check back in with you guys later. Bye. Hi friends, it is another day and mom and I are on our way to Michael's to pick up a couple of frames. I don't think I took footage when I was there the last time or I didn't take that much, but um, I was there looking for frames and I would find the right frame size, but the mat wouldn't be the right size. So I talked to somebody out there custom framing and then she said, you can buy the frame and then we can do a custom mat. And the custom mats were like just under $20, like $19. 60 cents or something like that. Um, so there was two pieces I got custom mats for, so um, we're gonna go pick those up. And the other nice thing was I bought the frames that they go in and they said, if you wanna leave the frames, we'll just assemble it for you at no charge. So that was great, um, but we're gonna go check it out. Good morning, friends. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I spoke to you last about this project, but da -da -da -da, we have frames in the background. We have frames from Frame It Easy, Amazon, and Michaels. So I went a few different ways and we're going to get into taking this out and unpackaging all of it and trying to get the things into the frames. So wish me luck that everything came in the right size and it works. So let's get into it. All right, first thing I'm gonna show you what I got from Michaels. So this was just a frame that I bought and then they put this custom red mat around it. So this is the little raccoon piece by Lee Ellickson. I think it came out super cute. Um, I think I have to do some flipping around on the back because the hangings the wrong way, but that's okay. I think it came out really cute. And then the other piece, like I said, it was a ready-made frame, but the mat was the wrong size. Um, but this is a piece by Sean, a uh, furry little peach. It's cute, right? So I picked colorful mats for these two pieces, which you don't typically get in ready-made frames, but I felt like it was worth paying the extra to get that right size and a color that I wanted. So yeah, now we're going to start unboxing the other frames and we're gonna start putting some work together. Let's go.
All right, that was all of the Frame It Easy frames. So it was these two, this one, and these two. These were the two ready-mades from Michaels with the mat, but everything fit and I'm really glad. What I like about Frame It Easy is they can give you these custom sizes, but what I will say is I wish they had different, more colorful matte options. They all seem to be plain. Like I wasn't able to like pick anything colorful. So, you know, if you're looking for either something simple without a matte, I think, and it's, and if you have a custom size, I think they're pretty good. Um, when I was trying to determine whether to do mats for these or not, um, I went to Audrey Kawasaki's Instagram and her website, and it seems like she always frames them without a mat. So I just tried to match how she does it for her shows. And then in regards to these ones, uh, I wanted a mat for them. So, you know, lots of different options, but i um, going to take a little break and come back and I will work on getting the Amazon frames out and the rest of the Michael ones. See you in a bit. Okay, hi, I'm back and I have these three frames that I bought from Michael's for these three pieces. This one, the fox, and my friend's art piece that he sent me. So I'm, um, I'm going to see how they look and if they fit, since the mats aren't specifically cut for it. I don't know, um, but let's give it a shot and see. So here's everything I framed from Michael's. Um, you can get really, really cheap frames. Um, and then, like I said, get a custom mat done. They have like a variety of finishes. I went for black with those ones, but you can see they have some natural wood looking ones in gray. So there are options and you can go pick a frame and then let's say the mat doesn't work, you can have that done. So I would say that's the advantage of Michael's, but the quality of the frame and the plexi on them are definitively a lot cheaper than the Frame It Easy ones. Also just the hardware is all different on all of the backs. So you might have to add some wire yourself, but it's um, it's a good other option. Okay, the last is this pile of frames from Amazon and I am the most worried about these, <laughs> about whether they will actually fit anything, but we're gonna give it a crack. Okay. So I have a stack of works here that I have left over and A stack of frames. Now, if I had been smart, 
I would have made notes in my notebook here where I had, this is where I had all of my measurements and sizes and notes, what went into what. But all I have is Frame It Easy, Amazon, and Michaels. So <laughs> we're just gonna have to open all of them and try and suss out what goes into where. So we're gonna do that first. Okay, here's all the frames from Amazon. And Amazon's tricky. You have to really know the size. Um, and you can get a variety of quality. Yeah, this one you can see here, it doesn't quite fit that A3 frame. You can see there's like a white edge here and like a sliver there. So I'm not too thrilled with it, but I think I can live with it for now and replace it later. And then the second one of this frame is a leftover. So nothing fit into that. I think my assumption was that this would fit, but it did not. And there's already discoloration happening here. This one's gonna need some proper UV glass to, to stay archival at this point since, I mean, it's from 2007. I wanna make sure it survives. So that is the only piece that did not get framed. So here's everything. That's a lot of frames. Okay friends, so the last piece of this puzzle is going to be for me to find wall space for all of this. So I'm gonna sign off here and say bye, but I'll put a clip at the end so you guys can see where everything ended up. And thank you so much for watching. I hope maybe inspired you to frame some of that work that you have laying around. You know you need to do it. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, stay well and stay inspired. Bye.